Welcome everyone to our YouTube channel Stoic Ponderings, where we explore the paths to personal growth and self-discovery. I'm your host, and in today's transformative journey, we're delving deep into the intriguing realm of unlocking inner freedom. It's a quest many of us embark upon, seeking that elusive state of mind that brings peace, purpose, and profound fulfillment. So, if you're ready to break free from the shackles that bind your spirit, stay tuned. This is the guide to unlocking your inner freedom. Section 1. The Quest for Inner Freedom Every journey begins with a quest, and the search for inner freedom is no different. Picture your life as a roadmap full of twists and turns. Are you ready to navigate it and discover the keys to unlocking that inner freedom? Section 2. Understanding Inner Freedom from a Stoic Perspective Welcome fellow seekers of wisdom to the heart of Stoicism, the profound understanding of inner freedom. Before we embark on the practical aspects of our journey, let's take a moment to immerse ourselves in the timeless wisdom of Stoic philosophy. The Stoics, from Zeno to Epictetus, bestowed upon us a philosophy that transcends time, offering profound insights into the nature of inner freedom. In Stoic terms, inner freedom is not a fleeting emotion but a state of being, a fortress of tranquility amidst life's storms. Imagine the Stoic sage, serene in the face of adversity, much like the ancient statues committed over time. Inner freedom, for the Stoic, is the art of maintaining composure when confronted with life's unpredictable currents. Picture the wisdom of Marcus Aurelius echoing through the ages. You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. This, dear viewers, encapsulates the essence of Stoic inner freedom. The Stoic philosopher Seneca further guides us, reminding us, true happiness is to enjoy the present, without anxious dependence upon the future. In Stoicism, true freedom lies not in controlling external events, but in mastering our internal responses. So, how do we align our will with the natural order of the cosmos, as the Stoics teach us? It begins with discernment, distinguishing what is within our control, the realm of our choices and attitudes, from what is beyond our influence. The Stoic mind is akin to a skilled archer, precisely directing its arrows of intent. As we journey through this section, we'll explore the Stoic dichotomy of control, understanding that our only true dominion is over our thoughts and actions. Visualize the Stoic meditative practices as a portal to this inner realm. It's not about escaping the world but finding solace within. Stoic mindfulness is the cornerstone, a practice that invites us to witness our thoughts without attachment observing them as passing clouds in the vast sky of our consciousness. We cultivate the stoic virtues of wisdom and courage in this meditative state. The knowledge to discern what is truly valuable, and the courage to accept what we cannot change. It's a journey into the depths of self-awareness, where the stoic sage finds freedom not in the absence of challenges, but in the mastery of response. Let these ancient quotes and practices be our guiding stars as we traverse the Stoic landscape. The Stoics beckon us to discover that rare and precious gem, the inner freedom transcending external circumstances, fleeting nature. Join me in this exploration as we delve deeper into the Stoic principles illuminating the path to inner freedom. Remember, in Stoicism, the journey is as significant as the destination. So. Let us continue our odyssey, grounding ourselves in the wisdom of Stoic philosophy as we seek to unlock the profound depths of inner freedom. Section 3. Breaking the Chains of Attachment Ah, fellow travelers on the Stoic journey, welcome to the Sanctum of Wisdom, where we confront the formidable task of breaking attachment chains. In Stoicism, detachment is not a callous divorce from the world, but a profound understanding that our inner serenity should not be held hostage by external circumstances. Picture detachment as the art of holding life's treasuries with an open hand, appreciating them fully but recognizing that they are not the essence of our being. It's a nuanced dance with the seer, guided by the stoic principle that our peace of mind should not be shackled 
to the ever-changing tides of the external world. As we embark on this exploration, envision the chains of attachment that bind you, not metaphorically, but as tangible links forged from desires, expectations, and the pursuit of external validation. These chains often weigh heavily on our minds, hindering the flight of our stoic souls. Seneca, the sage of Stoicism, implores us with these words, true happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. In essence, breaking these chains requires us to shift our focus from a future anchored in desires to the richness of the present moment. Now let's transition to the imagery of broken chains, a symbol of liberation and the pursuit of inner freedom. We first engage in the stoic practice of negative visualization to break these chains. It's not a pessimistic exercise, but a deliberate contemplation of the impermanence of all things. Imagine visualizing a life without the objects of your desires. By doing so, you detach from the illusion that external possessions define your worth. It's a profound exercise that unravels the chains link by link, revealing the boundless expanse of inner freedom. The stoic discipline of desire management is another tool in our arsenal. Like a skilled blacksmith shaping metal, we learn to shape our desires judiciously. We recognize that when left unchecked, desires can become the very chains that bind us. Stoicism invites us to ask, are these desires in harmony with our values and within our control? Let the image of broken chains be a beacon on your stoic path. It symbolizes emancipation from the tyranny of desire, a journey toward tranquil detachment. As we navigate this section, remember that the Stoic Party is not about renouncing the world, but finding freedom within it. So together, let's explore the Stoic exercises that unshackle us from attachment chains. Join me as we delve into the philosophy that encourages us to embrace the present, release the chains of desire, and attain the sublime freedom that comes from living in harmony with the Stoic principles. Section 4. Cultivating Mindfulness in the Stoic Way uh, fellow tranquility seekers, let us now enter the sacred sanctuary of mindfulness, a cornerstone of stoicism that beckons us to unravel the mysteries of the present moment. Mindfulness is not a fleeting state but a disciplined practice, a skillful art that allows us to commune with the essence of stoic wisdom. Picture mindfulness as a gentle current guiding us into the river of the present moment. In the stoic tradition, it is not a passive observance but an active engagement with reality a deliberate choice to embrace each moment with open-hearted awareness. As we immerse ourselves in this exploration, visualize the stoic mindfulness practices as beacons illuminating our path to inner freedom. Seneca, the sagacious stoic, extols the virtue of mindfulness with these words. True happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. The Stoic mindfulness journey begins with disciplined attention. It's a conscious effort to bring the scattered fragments of our thoughts into harmonious alignment with the present. Imagine the mind as a garden, and each mindful breath as a drop of nourishing rain, bringing life to the flowers of clarity. Here, the disciplined practice of attention becomes a stroll through the labyrinth of consciousness. Each step is deliberate, each moment an opportunity for self-discovery. As Stoics, we seek not to escape the world, but to engage with it entirely. In the Stoic meditative garden, we learn to witness our thoughts without attachment, letting them flow like a gentle stream. The Stoic mindfulness practices become like ancient keys, unlocking the door to inner freedom. One such key is the practice of present moment awareness, where we ground ourselves in the sensations of the now, the feel of the earth beneath our feet, the rhythmic cadence of our breath, and the subtle symphony of the present. Now, envision yourself in this stoic meditative garden, surrounded by the stillness of the present. The air is infused with tranquility, and each moment is an invitation to detach from the chains of the past and the uncertainties of the future. As we delve deeper into this section, let the stoic mindfulness practices guide you. Let's unlock the door to inner freedom through the disciplinate art of attention. Join me as we mean dare through the stoic meditative garden, cultivating mindfulness and savoring the richness of the present moment with each intentional breath. 
Section 5. Embracing Stoic Self-Examination Welcome, noble companions, to the sacred ground of Stoic self-examination, a profound aspect of the Stoic journey that invites us to turn the gaze of introspection inward. As Stoics, we understand that true inner freedom begins with knowing ourselves deeply, unraveling the layers of our being like a timeless scroll. Picture self-examination as a lantern in the dark caverns of our consciousness, illuminating the recesses of our thoughts, emotions, and motivations. Seneca, the venerable Stoic, urges us to embark on this inner odyssey. He who fears death will never do anything worth of a man who is alive. Now, as we delve into this exploration, envision Stoic journaling techniques as the quill that transcribes the whispers of our soul onto the parchment of self-awareness. The Stoic sage Epictetus teaches us, we have two ears and one mouth so that we can listen twice as much as we speak. Stoic self-examination then becomes a dialogue with our innermost self. The Stoic journal is a record of events and a sacred space where we dialogue with our thoughts and actions. It's a mirror reflecting the nuances of our character, revealing the patterns that shape our responses to the symphony of life. Imagine the Stoic journal as a confidant, a trusted ally with whom you share the triumphs and tribulations of your journey. Through reflective exercises, we untangle the threads of our experiences, gaining insight into the Stoic virtues that guide us wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance. Now transition your thoughts to a serene setting, a quiet corner of a stoic garden, where you self-examine. Visualize the process as a dialogue with the stoic virtues. Each page turned a step closer to unlocking the innermost potential that lies dormant within. Stoic self-examination becomes a meditative practice, a contemplation of the choices made and the virtues embodied. Through this introspection, we identify areas for growth, recognizing that the Stoic path is not about perfection but a continual refinement of character. As we traverse this section, let the Stoic journal be your companion on this odyssey of self-discovery. Let's explore the Stoic self-examination techniques and unlock the keys to our innermost potential. Join me as we navigate the labyrinth of the self, guided by the wisdom of Stoic philosophy and the illuminating power of self-reflection. Section 6. Facing Fear and Doubt Stoically Greetings, brave souls, as we stand at the crossroads of fear and doubt, the adversaries on the road to inner freedom. Stoicism, our steadfast guide, illuminates the path with the torches of courage, wisdom, and the realization that these emotions often stem from misconceptions. Fear and doubt, like lurking shadows, often gain strength from the unknown. Picture them as misty specters that dissipate when confronted with the light of Stoic understanding. Epictetus, the Stoic philosopher, reminds us, we cannot choose our external circumstances, but we can always choose how we respond to them. Now, as we delve into the treacherous terrains of fear and doubt, envision the Stoic warrior within you. Picture yourself equipped with the shield of courage and the sword of wisdom. Stoicism teaches us to confront these adversaries stoically, to dissect the irrational fears and doubts that may cloud our path to inner freedom. One potent Stoic strategy we unveil is the practice of negative visualization. It's not about pessimism, but a deliberate contemplation of life's uncertainties. By mentally preparing for challenges, we fortify our minds with resilience, turning fear into an ally rather than an adversary. Stoicism also invites us to examine the root of doubt, often a distorted perception of our capabilities. Imagine the Stoic warrior challenging self-doubt, recognizing it as a mirage that fades when approached with the clarity of rationality. Through Stoic disciplines, we cultivate the courage to face uncertainty and doubt with unwavering resolve. Let the Stoic courage quotes be your battle crease as we traverse this section. Together, let's navigate the intricate dance of fear and doubt, emerging victorious on the other side with newfound resilience and a more straightforward path to inner freedom. Section 7. Stoic Virtues in Daily Habits Now, dear companions, we pivot our gaze to the core of Stoic philosophy, the virtues of wisdom, courage, justice, 
and temperance. These virtues, far from being distant ideals, serve as practical guides for our daily pilgrimage toward inner freedom. Envision the Stoic virtues as guiding stars, lighting our way through the labyrinth of existence. Seneca, the Stoic luminary, implores us, it's not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste much of it. Let us explore how these virtues manifest in our daily habits, transforming them from mere routines into rituals that align with the Stoic principles. Wisdom, the first among equals, encourages us to cultivate discernment in our choices, to weigh the value of each action against the backdrop of our guides. Picture the Stoic virtues illustrated in the tapestry of your daily life. Courage, the armor that shields us from the arrows of fear, inspires us to face challenges with a steadfast heart. In the crucible of daily habits, justice becomes the compass guiding our interactions, fostering fairness and equity. Temperance, the gentle hand that moderates our desires, teaches us to savor life's pleasures without succumbing to excess. The Stoic virtues find expression in the small daily choices, molding our character and paving the way to inner freedom. As we navigate this section, envision the Stoic virtues as companions walking beside you. Together, let's infuse our daily habits with the essence of wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance. Join me as we transform the mundane into the extraordinary, living each moment with purpose on our journey to inner freedom. Section 8. Gratitude in Stoic Philosophy In the tapestry of Stoic philosophy, gratitude emerges as a powerful thread, weaving through the fabric of our experiences. Stoicism teaches us that in every moment, whether bathed in sunlight or obscured by shadows, lies an opportunity for growth and learning. Envision gratitude practices as the alchemy that transmutes discontent into serenity. Marcus Aurelius, the Stoic Emperor, reminds us, Very little is needed to make a happy life. It is all within yourself in your way of thinking. Now, as we unravel the Stoic practices of gratitude, picture them as a luminous journal, its pages filled with reflections on the richness of life. The Stoics encourage us to embrace every experience, favorable or challenging, with gratitude, recognizing that each moment contributes to our journey toward inner freedom. Stoic gratitude is not a mere acknowledgement of the positive aspects of life, but a profound acceptance of the entire spectrum of human experience. Visualize the Stoic gratitude journal as a testament to resilience, where challenges become stepping stones and triumphs are celebrated with humility. One Stoic practice we uncover is the evening reflection, a ritual where we express gratitude for the day's experiences. It's not about ignoring difficulties, but finding the silver lining in even the darkest clouds. Through this practice, we cultivate a mindset that sees opportunities for growth in every circumstance. To watch more informative videos about Stoicism, subscribe our channel, hit the bell icon to receive notifications, like and share our videos. Thanks for watching.